Hello everyone, my name is Rebecca Robinson and I'm the General Manager for the Northern Rivers branch here at Beaumont People. With me today I have Dean McCowan, one of our recruitment consultants who specialises in ICT roles across Australia. Welcome to Ask Me Anything, a 10 minute power session where we'll be discussing all things recruitment and answering any questions that you have. So what's our topic today Dean? Hey everybody, today's topic is ways to approach your job search. Um, job searching can be quite a difficult process and sometimes it can be quite frustrating as well, um, especially when you don't know where to begin. Or you may be searching for a while, might be at a bit of a standstill. Um, so today we're going to be sharing the next 10 minutes with you and you'll get all of our tips and tricks. So Beck, let's start with the basics. It's time to find a new job. Where should I start? Well, I think it's like anything really, Dean. I think preparation's key. So just take some time to reflect on your most recent role. What did you like? What did you dislike? What are you looking for next? And um, what are your strengths? What areas would you actually like to develop more skills in? And what's meaningful to you when it comes to your job or your employer? Once you're clear on these points, then take the time to update your resume, keeping all these elements top of mind. I do agree with that. The preparation is so cru crucial, Becky. Um, the amount of times that I've reviewed um, resumes against a role, and it's really not clear why some of these applicants have applied. Um, but then on the flip side, when I see candidates that have taken the time to tailor and outline and highlight for me the elements that are really relevant to the role that I'm advertising, um, this makes it quite an easy process for me to shortlist that candidate. Um, some, something to focus on when you are providing an application is to make sure you're using an up-to-date resume and not just listing your responsibilities, thinking about what makes you stand out against the other applicants. So, Beck, now that we've laid down, I guess, the ground rules and the foundation, we've everything prepared and we're ready for an effective job search, where should I start to look? It's <laughs> a good question, isn't it? Well, look, you've got all the major online platforms. You've got Indeed, Seek, LinkedIn. Obviously, you can go directly to companies that you want to work for too. And of course, you can use a recruitment agency like Beaumont People. Uh, recruitment agencies can definitely support you in your search too. Um, a few tips, don't spam apply. Don't just send lots and lots of applications. Really make sure that it's a role that you would like, actually like to receive an interview for and do. Um, and then spend that time instead of spamming to really tailor your application like you just said. Um, don't just send a resume. Send a cover letter too that really explains why you think you'd be great for that position. Uh, if you've got any gaps in your resume, don't be afraid to explain why they're there. If you've changed roles often, don't be explained to address, uh, um, afraid to kind of address that too. Because anything that could raise potential concern for an employer is going to put you into a maybe list or a no list. So just um, preempt it and answer and explain what those reasons are. Um, a really simple example would be if your address on your resume says you're based in Sydney, but you're applying for a role that's in Melbourne, Maybe include in your summary why you're looking to move to Melbourne. These little things will make a big difference. Um, Dean, any other ways, any other tips from you? Yeah, absolutely. Look, you can find job adverts or positions that you might be a good fit for across a huge range of different platforms. Um, so obviously we've spoken about Seek, Indeed, and all the other um, job boards, but there's other job boards in places such as the best places to work or industry associations. Um, I'm, also, I'm a tech recruiter, so the industry association that technology candidates are best to look at is the Australian Computer Society. They've got a job board, and there's a range of dis different specialist job boards um, for every industry. Now, newspapers also have job adverts, um, so make sure you check out everything. Look, I also believe that Facebook is a great place to find adverts or positions that are ready to be filled. Um, getting onto Facebook and plugging in from my, I live on the Gold Coast, so Gold Coast job listings is a good Facebook page to follow, or IT job listings in Brisbane. That's another one for you. Um, the approach that I like to tell my candidates are there's two ways you can go about this, and one of them is the direct approach, which is what Becky's just told everyone about, and that's applying directly to the, to the business that you want to work for. But make sure you connect with those people in a meaningful way, such as on LinkedIn, so find out who the hiring manager is, connect on LinkedIn and start a conversation. Ask if you could maybe grab a coffee. And at that point, you can discuss future work opportunities. 
If you are looking for a specific role in an industry such as call centre or customer service or sales, or in my case, ICT, make sure you seek out a recruiter who is specialised in that area because they'll be able to open up some doors um, to places that aren't actually advertising. Some really good points there, Dean. That's really good, really helpful. I think one of the other things you've just touched on there is Facebook. So let's remember when you do start your uh, job search and you are in that preparation point, take a little bit of time to have a look at any profiles, social profiles that you might have that are open, that anybody can access and view, and just make sure that they're all tidied up and clean and that maybe the pictures on there aren't jeopardising potentially future employment. So just a little tip there to think about. Um, but thanks, great, great tips, Dean. I'd like to thank everyone for joining us today for Ask Me Anything. We'll be back again with our next installment of Ask Me Anything, which is you are an executive, now what? Uh, so that'll be next week. But in the meantime, if you'd like any recruitment advice, please visit our website, beaumontpeople.com.au, or you can email us at hello at beaumontpeople.com.au. Thank you, everybody.